Hey, this is uh, Dan from Rambling Ambition. Uh, we are uh, back from our trip, a successful one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that last video. It was kind of like our stop to stop uh, to go see my son graduate from Air Force BMT. So um, the last piece of the electrical system that we kind of put together that's the brains of everything, I thought I'd do a video on that. So we'll take a look at the Servo GX, how it's wired and what that touch display looks like. So. If this is something you're interested in, uh, please stick around for the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, Emily and I are refitting our 2019 uh, Sprinter van for uh, adventure. And it was an old Amazon delivery van that we've converted into our little tiny home. So it's uh, about a little, a little more than halfway done. So um like I said, if you're interested in the Serbo GX by Victron, um, stick around for the video. All right, so here is our blue system. So we have the charge controller, the inverter, the two DC to DC chargers, the link shunt, and then the Serbo GX right there. So the way, so you can see that it's on. So that gray cable is just a, a Cat5 cable that runs back to the multi plus and that's how it uh talks to the inverter charger the yellow cable which is another cat5 cable it runs straight into the shunt and that's how we read all of the battery stuff so because this is a can bus system from the link shunt to the servo you have to have terminators so there's one there and then there's one right there so the small cable is a V bus cable. That's another kind of um, communication cable um, that runs down to the charge controller. And that's what tells the charge controller how to charge the system. And then the last big cable, that is the uh, HDMI cable, extension cable that we had to fit. Get to run the signal all the way up to the front of the van. So as you step up into the van, you can see the uh, touch screen right there. And so we'll wake it up. And so you can see right now that our solar panels are uh, charging at 49, 50 watts. Uh, we have an eight watt uh, DC power load. And then our batteries are all topped off at 100%. You can see the status of the inverter and the AC loads. Now the cool thing about this, this has got all of our systems connected to it. If I want to turn the inverter on, I just, you can see where there's the blue solar, there's the shunt and then the multi plus. I have it set so that the remotes all work. And then all I have to do is do that and turn the inverter on. The inverter clicks on and then you'll see the power come up on the AC main. And so now all of our circuits are live and then we can turn it off just as easily by hitting the switch again and you go to off and that turns the inverter off and you see the power is no longer there. So the touch kind of gives us a great uh, viewpoint of what our system is doing currently. Um, so you can see that we don't have any AC loads because we turn the inverter off, the inverter is showing off and then we have our battery status and once it's below 100% it starts to give you a countdown time so you can see how many uh, watt hours you have left. That was a, a pretty cool uh, way of looking at it. Now uh, the other thing about the Servo is that it connects to the Victron um, network and so as long as the van is connected to Wi-Fi um, I can see remotely exactly what the system is doing. So I can see what the battery temperature is. I can see what the solar charging system is doing. I can see um, the status of all the different things uh, inside of our system. So it's pretty cool that we have the ability to do that remote monitoring. We have alarms set up for uh, low temperatures and high temperatures and a bunch of other different things uh, that's pretty cool. So. Um, the Servo GX, like I said earlier in one of the videos, is that um, it is the brains of how the system works. It's what controls everything. You can put all kinds of things from uh, tank level monitors to some relays to activate different things. Um, so I'll show you uh, how the system, the panel actually works. So you saw where 
uh, the charging system is. I'll turn the inverter on, plug in. Um, right now, um, we don't have anything running on our AC circuits, uh, but I'll turn the inverter on and then we'll turn the water heater on. The water heater is a 750 watt element uh, water heater. And uh, so that should show up in the display pretty clearly. So why don't we do that? All right, so we're gonna turn the inverter on. All right, so you can see where the inverter turned on. We have our AC main. So we're gonna go down to the water heater. Right now we don't have any AC loads. We're gonna go down to the water heater and we'll turn it on. And you should see the uh, water heater kick on here in just a second. And you'll, there it goes. So it's that instantaneous. So right now um, we're using a, 750 watts which is what the rated element is and um you can see now down here that we're pulling um that much power out of the battery at the same time so we're putting um 85 watts into the power and then we're using 750 and uh so the system is taking some power from the sun and some power from the battery system and uh, that will heat our, our water up. And as it starts to cut into, into the battery bank uh, levels, you'll see that percentage drop from 100% down to, to whatever. But we have, we have seven kilowatts, a little over seven kilowatts of power in our battery bank. So uh, we can, we can uh, run just about anything we want to for a fairly extended period of time. And when the solar is kicked in, uh, like on our trip, the, the batteries do more than enough to uh, to power, um, not only to power what we need, but to, to recover the energy and the battery storage uh, side of things as well. All right, so that was just a quick video of how our Serbo GX is uh, set up. Um, so uh, it links our complete Victron system together. And like I showed you, we have a uh, Cat5 cable that runs to the inverter itself so that the servo can talk to the inverter and control it, but also get all the readouts from the inverter itself. We have a Cat5 cable that runs to the shunt, and that is what tells the servo what battery is, what the batteries are doing as far as what kind of energy is coming in and what kind of energy is going out. Uh, we have that V direct cable that connects the solar charge controller. Uh, to the servo so we can not only program that solar charge controller but get the feed from it so that it displays on the screen properly and then everything else just runs into the shunt and the shunt controls all of it so um, it's a pretty neat system i love having uh, the screen to be able to take an active look and then having the vrm portal so like when i'm away and the van is parked where there's wi-fi i can see exactly what's happening on the inside so pretty cool hope you guys got something from the new it's not super specific just really basic the setup for the victron components are really easy which is why i like them so much and uh, we're really happy with it so this is dan from rambling ambition and we'll see you next time